you guys. I'm back with a video. I belong to a Paradise Galleries group on Facebook. It's called a focus group. And the Paradise Galleries team does interact and ask for feedback on their dolls and different things like that. So I had left feedback about my unboxing experience with Born to Sparkle. And I'd mentioned that the boxes are now not double-sided and they're not really a keepsake quality box. And I got a response from Aurora with Red Fox Nursery that these are boxes you can turn inside out to use as a storage box. So I just wanted to try it on video to show you guys how to do it. I don't know how to do it. I'm gonna start taking the box apart to see if I can do it. I am one-handed as I always am. So I'm gonna do the best I can without taking a lot of breaks. So I took off the inner shell, which has the ties connected, which ties the doll in. I'm gonna pull the paper out next. All pushed in nice okay so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna you can see here these the box is kind of attached on the inside here and I'm gonna try to pop this out without tearing it all right so I got that done I'm gonna do the other side now over here this is because I don't like to mess up my nails all right so good so I got it flat you guys okay so now here's the box completely flat so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn it over and I'm going to start folding the folds in the opposite way that it was. So I'm taking this. So I'm gonna take this side right here. I'm gonna fold, I'm gonna fold this. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna fold that. Now I haven't seen anybody do this. I'm just doing it with my the common sense that I know on how to fold a box. Thankfully, I get a lot of packages and I break quite a bit of boxes down because of all of my deliveries. So the next thing I'm gonna do is fold this in. I imagine that these folds go straight into here. As I'm pushing these in, these need to come out. So I need to open this back up. I'm gonna fold the box up. So I'm gonna do that now off camera because I do need two hands to do this and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I got the box put back together. I slid those sides in like I said and then I latched these pieces down again. Um, I had to take off the shipping label and this is the one thing that I don't like about this is that it's a little bit undesirable looking when it comes to what the aesthetic looks like out here. Not a big deal guys. In the long run, this saves paper. So the next thing I'm gonna do is put everything back in the same order that I pulled it out of to build the box back up and be able to create kind of the bed or shell that you would put your dolly in. So I put the paper first, slid that in. And then for the purposes of the video, I'm just gonna close this box up so you can see. But obviously you would kind of finagle your paper and be careful because you don't wanna tear your, your paper up or if you do, I don't know, I don't. I'm trying to keep it nice. And then you're gonna just slide this in. I mean, at this point, I, I'm pretty sure everybody knows how to close a box, but you know, the idea is you need to break it down to build it back up. I am going to stop again. I'm gonna close the box up to show you what it finally looks like. Close. Okay guys, so I slid those sides in between here and here, so it closes proper. Okay, and then the next step is to finally slide these folds down in here and in here. All right, guys, so this is what it's supposed to look like. There is a little bit of uh, the cardboard showing on the outside, not a big deal. This is actually a piece of tape I can go in and remove. So I will do that to clean this up a little bit. But this is what the box looks like after you've turned it inside out. And it is nice for storage, no problem there. And I will use it, I'm so glad. Thank you, Aurora from Red Fox Nursery. If you are watching my channel, I don't know, we, we know each other on Facebook from the Dolly groups, but thank you for telling me this. This is important. I wanna make sure I made a video about this because here I'm telling you guys, I probably won't keep the box because it's junk, but it's not. You know, yes, on the inside, it's not very pretty. You can see that, but I'll clean that up a little bit. And in the long run, I mean, it's, it's a salvageable box. So anyway, guys, that is what it looks like. So this looks great guys, totally a keeper. I'm so glad they're able to save on uh, paper products and not have to use two boxes. This is actually a genius idea. 
Uh, the one downfall is the inside where your shipping label goes. That is not even a big deal though, because the reality is Look at the beautiful box that you can use for storage and it's not unsightly and looks like a brown shipping box. So I'm happy about that. But I felt the need to come on and make this video to show you guys. I didn't want you guys to think that this is junk after I'd said, oh, I'm not keeping the box. It's totally salvageable and it's amazing. I'm really happy that they actually made this change. This is a good environmental change actually for not using so many products for packaging. So that's it guys. I just wanted to show you that. I felt like I needed to do my due diligence after saying the box was junk basically. So that's it you guys. I hope you enjoyed watching how to turn this box inside out and use for storage. It's for those that actually needed a little bit of help to show how to break your box down and turn it inside out because it is really, really easy. This may be easy for everybody out there. I don't know. I just wanted to make sure I got it on camera and showed you guys how I would do it since I had mentioned that I would trash this box. Totally not a trash item. It is a nice storage box now and I'm really happy that they did this. So please like, comment, and subscribe and I will talk with you later. Take care.